Facebook Live, we have arrived. We finna get it in again. I'll get y'all chime on on while I get prepared to get it in. Here we go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the evening scripture study on this 24th day in October 2018. Nicole. Young Faithful, how you doing? Um, Shalom, Shalom, uh, Cole. Ty, there she go. Keep getting them services in, back to back, back to back. Hey, there you go, Dre Woods. Just looking for a call from you. Family member, pray all is well. Bless you, man, bless you. Good to see you all, man. Let me track down on our folks right quick. <sighs> Damn, I'm so tired, y'all. But the beat goes on. We, 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 we ain't complaining. That's what we're not going to do. Let's see here. Do you know, I've, hey fam, I was just going to your page, um, Miss Foster, because um, I didn't see you this morning. It was on one. So you go um, and you listen listen to the lesson that I taught this morning. I don't think he was on, was you? I didn't see no post or nothing. Had me worried, see? Y'all join the family and I get to tripping. Like one of them overprotective parents type. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna have to get you another alarm clock because we can't be messing with that. Oh, but you, oh, you, you listen. Good, 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 good. That's what's up. I so you see, I knew you wouldn't. And literally, I was going to your page right now, literally, and then I saw your name pop up because I sure was gonna say something to you. Still, will what's up, man? Love you, bro. Good to see you up in here. Cold be to be. Hey. Uh, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. I can't do this long pause. We on record. <gasps> Excuse me, y'all. I'm tired. But that don't stop nothing. Let's get it in, y'all. Quick prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Homies, well, how I trust and believe in you for a relevant word. Continue to illuminate us. Quicken us, make us alive, continue to deal with us. We're in the transformation process. We're on for the ride. Show up, show up, do what only you can do. And we believe you, we trust you, we thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua Hamashiach, that's what I'm going to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Welcome aboard, Big Mark. Uh, thanks for chiming in, bro. Okay, let's go to Luke, y'all. Luke 9. Luke 9. Yeah, call me, Dre. Hallelujah, Ty. Wakes me up. <laughs> he said, let us sleep. Which well, he's holier than now, now. You sleep. <laughs> Might wake up quoting scriptures and stuff. Huh? <laughs> Tavis Miller. Hey, May, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. Nine and seven. Y'all, let's have a good time in the word because we're going to break it open wide. You hear me? That's what we do. Fasten your seatbelts. Let's go to Luke 9, beginning at the 57 verse. Uh, nephew, Tion, Tion, Mr. Davis, thanks for chiming in. Be faithful, young man. And he gonna give you a crown of life. He good on this part. We got to do ours. Luke 9 and 57, look what it say. It say, and it came to pass, right, that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. We can deal from there, huh? Oh, uh, Rhea, how you doing? Good to see you, young lady. Um, 
There was a man said, I, I, I follow you, right? I would take it that that's our attitude. Prayerfully, it is. You know, we got the attitude that, um, you know, we will follow him, you know, wherever he go. And um, I like his attitude because he didn't say first. He didn't say, where you going? <laughs> He he didn't say where, where where you going? Oh, you going to Disneyland? I want to come. He didn't say that. He said, "I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest, no matter where you go." Alvin, man, thanks for chiming in. Call me, Alvin. You know I'll be wanting to hear from you. Um, he didn't ask where he was going. Alvin, we in Luke nine fifty seven fifty seven verse. Um, and let's keep it practical. Um, when a person go to the Mashiach and say, I'll follow you wherever you go. Get it out of your mind that, um, like again, he going to Disneyland or he going on, on, you know, to a barbecue. Or he going to Hawaii. Get that out of your mind. Even get out of your mind. It's just like he's going to a destination, the physical destination. When someone come to him and say, I'll follow you wherever you're going, then assume that the mindset is I'm ready to stop going where I normally go. I'm ready to stop doing what I normally do. I'm about to sake, forsake my agenda to follow you wherever you go. Now, that's sobering within itself. You go to the Messiah and be like, like, like if y'all just hung up, whoever y'all, whoever's on the line, right? Y'all just hung up the phone, right? Uh, uh, Israel, Ben Israel, how you doing? Shalom. Uh, but say if y'all just got off the line right now and said um, to the, to, to the most high. I'm ready to follow you wherever you go. You would have to admit within yourself what you're really saying is, I'm ready to stop doing my own thing and 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 do yours. I'm ready to follow you. Wherever you wherever you lead me, I'm ready to go. Now, that state of mind is kind of scarce. People don't think like that too often. People down with some religion, though. They down with some eschatology. You know, they they down with a little, you know, a, a new Cephas or they down to getting the word some. But not too many people saying, I'll follow you wherever you're going. Which really is saying, I'll stop going where I go and I'm going to go where you tell me to go. Wherever you lead me, I'll follow. Not too many people saying that. Not too many, if we being 100, not too many people is coming at him like that. There are some, and I pray everyone is listening is, the type that has come to the end of your own personal road. Because that's when true salvation start. That's when the true relationship start. A lot of people hang around him and they're still contemplating. Miss Jackson, how you doing? Monique, how you doing? They're still contemplating because... You know, I'm going to keep it raw every time, y'all, but they literally could have just ran into Mr. Goodbar. You feel me? And they're getting hooked up, and they're not willing to follow him in that. They're not willing to follow. I'm not I'm not going to get out this bed. Not with this joke up in here with me. Kim, how you doing? I'm, I'm not willing. I'm not. Not too many people is willing to make a statement to the Most High, like, I'm willing to follow you wherever you're going. Nephew, good to see you on, T. Mill. Hey, you. And it came to pass, as they went their way, we in Luke 9, y'all, 57 verse. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. I'll follow you wherever you're going. I'm not asking you where you're going. I'm saying I don't care where you're going. 
I'm following. I don't care where you're going. I'm not even questioning you like that. I trust you to that level. Wherever you're going is where I need to be. Whatever your agenda is, it's definitely better than mine. I'm ready. I'm ready to make some changes. Because that's what we be, that's what we uh, better be ready to do in order to have uh, a, a real relationship with the Most High. I, 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 I'm ready to change courses. I'll let you be my GPS. Look what the 58 verse said. And Yahushua said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. Well, witnessing one on one, like when you're dealing with the souls, right? You definitely want to let him know, you know, what church you go to and what the pastor's driving, right? You know, don't he got a Rolls Royce or something? He flew in on a helicopter, landed on the helicopter pad on top of the building. And he got heck of degrees. And he first cousins with T.D. Jakes and them. Right? Ain't that how you're going to get him to come to church with you? you you going to tell him about the youth ministry? How they got uh, dinosaurs in the sanctuary? But the dinosaurs are saved. They, they got a, a nursery. And they, and, and, uh, they got like their own personal fairyland. Aren't you? Aren't you going to tell them that? Did y'all serve breakfast free? Free breakfast? Aren't you going to tell them that? Y'all go camping? That's what we reduced to, right? Camping. Ain't you going to tell them who's on the, who's on the uh, organ? How many albums he put out? Ain't that what it's about? Let's be honest. You, you got to tell them about your pastor's inner circle, who he hang with, don't you? How the ministry is growing and ain't nothing in the parking lot but Jaguars and BMWs and, right, right, Bentleys and, hmm? Tell them how many recording artists is it, go to your church and how smart he is. He heck of his suit, the, the first lady's wig is, is made out of uh, Brazilian Hair, human. Isn't that witnessing one on one? Right? Because this man told the Messiah, I'll follow you wherever you go without asking him where he's going. His response was, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> he looked at him and said, oh, You want to follow me? I ain't got nothing for you. Foxes have holes. Birds of the air have nests. I ain't got nothing, partner. That goes against the whole ideology of this game that these religious folks are playing right now. I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't pulled up in no Rolls Royce. I ain't got no helicopter. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't out here doing a fish fry. Nothing. I ain't got nothing. I'm homeless. Looking dead as I'm homeless. You want to follow me wherever I go? I'm homeless. Because having a relation with the Most High has changed so much that it's a bunch of gimmicks. It ain't, it ain't about you on your way to hell. That, that the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. Repent. It ain't about, there ain't nobody talking about that. That ain't nobody coming to, 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 to church with you. You telling them you better repent. You better get out to bed with them. You better put them drugs down. You better change your stanky attitude. You on your way to hell. Folks ain't talking like that. Folks is talking about degrees and Bentleys and helicopter pads. Talking about youth ministries and how many trips they go on and with everybody driving and how good the first lady nails look. Talking all everything but what the real issue is. Folks want to complain about this World War III and, and how the food ain't cool, how the water ain't cool. What caused it? Let's talk about that. Is it because the Most High is angry with the wicked every day? And we all wicked? We all wicked and want to kick it? Is, is that? Do you want to talk about that? Oh, 
Oh, man, well, our church, boy, you should hear that choir. Man, get up out of here. You and your choir. <laughs> Can I talk like that? <laughs> you and your choir. Get the heck up out of here. Nobody want to hear that. Look at you like, are you playing right now? Are you that silly? Do you think I'm that silly? I'm fornicate. I'm a pimp. And you want to tell me about your choir? I'm a murderer. I'm a dope. I'm scandalous. I'm looking at your wife, pimping. You want to tell me about the choir? Okay. I'll take your wife. We'll go check out the choir together. We, 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 we have a problem. This man came to him and said, I'll follow you wherever you go. He didn't come trying to sweet talk him. He didn't come with gimmicks. He didn't come with cliches. You know, you know, two of y'all come, you get three seats in our sanctuary. You get three seats. You can put you can put all your stuff in the third seat. You ain't even got to let nobody sit there. You want nobody to sit next to you? Gimmicks. Pancake. Pancake uh pancake Sunday. Man, get your pancakes up out of here. Look at this. Look at this. The problem is sin. The problem is sin. I'm not saying don't give pancakes. I'm not going to hate on the preacher if he flew in in a helicopter just as long as everybody in the sanctuary got a car. That joker better not land on nothing and folks in this congregation are uh, uh, homeless and, and, and ain't got nothing to eat. Bet not land on nothing. Joker hawk it. How'd you get it? If, I don't care if you work for it. If the Most High blessed you, what are you doing landing on the top of poor people? <laughs> Tell them to pay their tithes. All these gimmicks. Look at the Mashiach. The man said, I'll follow you wherever you go. He said, you got the right attitude, and that's the only acceptable attitude because ain't no telling where I'm going to end up. I ain't, I'm homeless. So let's deal with the real issue. You, 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 you're dead in your trespasses. You're dead in your sins. It ain't cool. It's ugly down here. You want to come with me? Come on. You got you, you got shoes? Well, I ain't got none. Give me one. <laughs> Which one you want to give me? The left shoe or the or right? Which one of your feet is the stronger? Well, give, well, well, well take the shoe off that one and give it to me because I'm, I'm, I'm barefooted too. I ain't got nowhere to go, and I need one of your shoes. And he said unto another, follow me. Look, look, look. He's witnessing. He just, he just popped his bubble. He witnessing. He told the dude to follow me after he just told him I'm homeless. Because folks think to join the ministry, we, folks is carnal. Folks got a form of y'all is denying the power to them. I don't want to talk to pimps and players and, and prostitutes and liars. I, I, want, I want to talk to some folks that killed some folks or, or shot at some folks and, 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 and slept with their partner's man and woman and all that, right? Ain't nobody listening now like that, I know. Ain't nobody listening right now. Ain't never slept with their partner. Nah, they didn't do stuff like that, right? Everybody on here holy, right? It's time, at least people that live raggedy enough to know they're raggedy is the demographic that he's looking for. Because they that are whole don't need a physician. If you like this uppity religious person, then, then you good. That was the Mashiach's attitude. Since you don't know you have sin, gone, kick rock. I'm looking for somebody who want to be saved, and I ain't got to come with no pancake breakfast and no gimmick. They barely made it up in here. They barely made it. They barely made it on Facebook right now. They Come on, somebody. Some folks that is tired of the devil, tired of sin. And to be honest with you, more important, tired of themselves. To the point, I don't want to play. Who want to play church? For what? Who are you fooling? No, I'm not talking to those that are deceived. Because you got some folks that live like the devil and still think they're on their way to heaven. And I want to minister to you too. Without question. But who is wrong in knowing? And is tired of the religious game. What your pastor driving ain't helped you. You understand that? You might have helped buy it. 
but it ain't helping you. What the first lady wig look like don't help you. All them, all them carnivals and, and uh, come on, y'all. It's not about that. It never was. That's man having a form of y'all and is denying the power there. It's time for us to say, look, I ran off on y'all. I left him for a woman. I left him for a man. No, let's get real with it. You ran off and you was out of pocket. Now repent. Ain't no gimmick. I ain't doing no Jaguar. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. You ain't going to line up and I'm going to tell a liar that ran off on y'all that y'all going to fix your credit. Let me lay hands on you. Run around. Go, go, go to the parking lot. Run around, run around the car seven times. Lay hands on. I Look, run around. Stop running around that woman's husband seven times is what you need to do. I ain't sending you to no car lot. For what? That's not what the Mashiach came for. For us to play this game, this religious game. Listen, this joker with the stand up before you with a curly afro in a doggone football stadium. <laughs> Motivational speaker. I ain't got time for that. The wages of sin is death. We need to repent. We're running out of time. When the bombs start flying and things get worse, oh, there's personal wars to come to your address. There's personal wars to come and will break up your family. There's personal wars that will, will tear down everything you built in a, in a nanosecond. So I'm not just talking about World War III. I'm just not talking about the destruction of America, how China and Russia is, is ganging up and ready to collapse this joker right now. I'm not talking about that, even though that's right over the hill. But there's some personal stuff going on in folks' life because they ran off on the Most High. They put things and people before the Most High, and, 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 and the Most High came through and, and turned their situation into bowling pins, and he came through with a bowling ball and just crashed it down because he deceived to save his life is going to lose it. And he that loses his life, going to put y'all first over mother, father, children, spouse, yeah, even your own life. That's who he going to rescue. That's who he going to save. And he ain't running around here playing games and running gimmicks. Folks been listening to the gospel for years, and they hard-headed as heck. They doing their thing, and their life is, a, is in a garbage can. And they still won't repent. He been choking some of us for years. We all tore up. Professional. <laughs> oh my good gypsies cause he, cause he kicking you behind and you still won't look, look the man came to him now look at this witnessing y'all look how serious this is the man came to him and said I'll follow you anywhere you go he said I'm homeless now <laughs> then he turned to look at somebody and say and said and said uh, uh, follow me <laughs> yeah Follow me. He got me talking like this. And then he'll have me tell you, follow him. <laughs> follow him, yeah. Stop what you're doing, like the other dude said. Stop what you're doing and tell him you ready to follow him no matter where he's going. So he can tell you, I ain't got nothing for you. I want you to fix my marriage. And he said, nope. <laughs> huh? I thought marriage was honorable in the bed under fire. Didn't I say no? No. Learn to put me before your marriage. Learn to put me before. Come on. You don't even know how to f treat your, 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 your children, your, 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 your wife, your husband. You don't, you, you, don't know how, you don't know how to treat your mama if it wasn't for me. You love your mama, but you talk bad to her. You cuss her out. You use her. You don't do nothing she say, but you want to tell me you put your mama before me. That, you, you don't know how to treat your mama because you, you exalt her over me. And that's why you make her miserable. <laughs> she don't even like you. She love you because you're related, but she don't even like you because you ain't cool. And you don't treat her right. Because we don't know how to treat nobody right without the most high. We got our own stinking thinking. Come on, all of sin that comes short, we all carnal. The natural man uh, 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 receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yah because their foolishness onto him, neither can he know them because they're spiritually discerned. We got to stop, y'all. 
The only way you're going to be saved for real is you got to divorce yourself. If you own a gradual program, that's completely up to you. But tomorrow, I promise to you. But if you're on a gradual thing, I'm not mad. I'm just happy you're along for the ride. And I pray you make up your mind to serve him before it's everlasting too late. I'm going to do my job. I'm going to tell you the truth. Straight up. No holds barred. I'm, I'm going for it. And what's good for y'all is good for me too. Twice to me. You understand? The man came to him and said, check this out. He called him master. I'll follow thee wherever thou go. His response was, I'm homeless. He said, you better off fo following a fox or a bird. <laughs> Maybe the bird will scoot over and let you lay your head on a nest. I ain't got nothing for you. The son of man have nowhere to lay his head. And then he turned to somebody else and said, follow me. I know that dude said, after that sales pitch, I'm not sure if I want to follow you. Right, because you got an ulterior motive. You would want to follow me if you was knew you was dead in your sins. That, that, that you're on your way to hell. That the wrath of the most high is abiding on you. That the wages of sin is death and you're a sinner. What I got to sell you on some pancakes for when you're on your way to hell? And those that belong to him feel terrible when they living like the devil, when things ain't right. You got folks that got righteous indignation, and I'm not mad at them either. Real talk. They have issues with the world. They have issues with people because the world and people dog them out, dog them and their people out, and they have righteous indignation. But as you learn about the most high, he going to work it out and let you know, give it to me. Vengeance is mine. I'll recompense. I'm not appointing you to that. I'm appointing you to save yourself from this untoward generation. I'm going to give you room. You scoot over. You can't do nothing about it anyway. The enemy here is so big. We can't do nothing. I just came from the gym getting it in, boxing, throwing these paws. Man, I can't touch them jokers. <laughs> they man, man, they listen to this message. I mean, what am I gonna do to them? You feel me? I can, <laughs> look, they ain't gonna finna box with me. <laughs> I, they, it's too big. I've been kidnapped. I've been. They've been locked. Got it on lock. What I need to do is go to the throne of grace with boldness to make my petitions known that I might obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And the time of need is right now. I need him. I need him to dispatch his angel protection about me and keep me safe as I speak his word. Irregardless, I ain't trying to make friends. I'm making disciples. Period. And he's going to have to protect me. And I'm calling the devil, the devil and his kids. Period. Not trying to win a popularity contest. Folks, don't get it as ministry. <laughs> High talk? Come on, man. You know it's far, far, far in between and little. Ain't nobody messing with me. Because ain't nobody messing with our father like that. And he ain't running no sales pitches. He's not a con man. He's not trying to sell them something that he's not going to make good on. And he's not going to feed your flesh. He came to feed your spirit. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yah, if he's going to live. He's going to tell you what you need to get your soul right. So that man came and said, it sound buttery too, don't it? Sound like somebody would go for that and want to say something nice to him. Man, I'll follow you wherever you go. Well, I don't care where you going. Well, I'm going to lay down on the ground right here because I ain't got nowhere to go. Go and cop a squat. Then he turned to somebody and said, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go bury my father. Could be he heard what he told the other dude. I said, man, I'm not. I'm going to go bury my daddy. I'm going to go kill my daddy to bury him because I ain't following you. All right, that was a joke. It wasn't funny. But he had an excuse. And look at his excuse. His father died, and he wanted to go bury his father. The Messiah's response was, let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of Yah. You hear that? Look, how raw is it? I know what you taught in church, right? But now let's deal with what the word said. This man said, he said, he said, follow me. Do you know that's what he's saying to us? Even though we might say no, because I just got this man. 
I just got this woman. I, d I just flipped this bird. I'm going to get my money. We got, we got reasons why we won't do it, right? But it wasn't a request. But so much love is in him saying, follow me. Because he's getting you to follow him instead of yourself. Because you're leading yourself straight to hell. And life ain't nothing. It, 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 it's like a vapor of smoke. It appeared for a moment and vanished away. You don't even know if you're going to see tomorrow. I just got the news today that one of my childhood friends died today. Had a heart attack. Today. He died the day I found out today. You don't even know if you're going to see tomorrow. So he just said, like, follow me. That's love. Because we don't deserve to follow him. We're not even qualified to follow him. He's going to baptize himself inside of you to give you the ability to follow him if you want to. But that's a loving command. You in your mess, you, you so stressed out about carnal stuff, and your soul is on the line. You should be afraid about your soul, but you've been blinded by the cares of this life. That no, Your soul condition is not stressing you out. Something carnal, something temporary, something that you'll walk away from y'all for is stressing you out. You'd be better off if you were stressed out about your relationship with the most high. This man said, I'll follow you wherever you go. He gave him like, please, I'm homeless. He turned around and loved this dude enough to say, follow me. And this man said, suffer me first. He didn't say, I'm not going to follow. He said, let me go. Don't we always come with what we got to do first? First, I'm finna get my, I'm finna come to him, watch. But first, let me, let me lose 10 pounds. <laughs> huh? What the heck that got to do? Okay, first, I'm finna buy a house and I, First, oh, look, I'm ooh, I'm gonna serve him. I'm gonna preach for him too, cause I love him. First, let me let me um let me let me find my phone. I'm gonna find my phone first. I I know it was it was on this couch somewhere. Um, he said, he said, But let me, suffer me to first go bury my father. Did you know you can follow him and bury your father? Doing a funeral ain't going to stop you from submit. Sound like an excuse, but. So his response was, okay. Let the dead bury the dead. Being with me is more than, more important than burying your father. First seek ye the kingdom of Yah, all his righteousness, all this other stuff will be added. He didn't come to take your life. He came to give you life and more abundantly. He not an interrupter to that level. He definitely interrupt. He going to interrupt your whole path. Wherever he was headed, he's going to interrupt that. And he's going to reroute you to save your life. He's going to give you a mind. Look, the mind he wants you to have is to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the reason why you got to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, because if you don't love him with it, you're going to love something else with it. You're going to love that woman with it. You're going to love that man with it. And if you love them with that type of passion, you ain't going to follow him. You're going to follow them. That's where your time going to go. That's where your thinking going to go. That's where your heart going to be. That's where your money going to be. That's where your your, 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 your turn signal click to you. In your click, click, they live to the right, click, right, turn. You, you, everything you got is going to be invested in them. Everything you got, every, all the fiber of your being is going to be in them. You'll cry all night long about them, not ya. So, so, so the requirement then to follow him is to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength because he's trying to rescue you. He, he don't need you. He loves you. He don't need you. You need him. In him, we, we live, move, and have our being. We need him, and he wants you to figure that out. And he also is revealing what the problem is. We're the problem. And the actual problem that's, that's what's wrong with us is sin. Disobedient to your creator. All of us toe up. Ain't no good, no goody two shoes. All have sinned. All of us toe up. We all need to repent. We all need to seek him. We all need to be uh, uh, hungering and thirsting after righteousness. Every last one of and none of us should need a sales pitch. And, and, and he didn't give one. 
I'm homeless. Where, 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 the, where the church at? Ain't one. Ain't got one. You ain't got a bill? Nope. <laughs> uh-uh. No, I ain't got nothing. I got the words of eternal life. I, I can tell you how to get in contact with the most high and repent. Claim your eternal life. Forsake this uh, sinful world and live. I can tell you that. I ain't got no gimmick for you. I'm not going to fix your credit. I'm not finna speak, a, a, the, you finna hit the lottery, none of that. You don't deserve to hit the lottery. If you hit the lottery, you're going to die from crack. You gonna <laughs> you can't handle it. You you gonna you gonna you gonna get cirrhosis of the liver. You gonna drink yourself to death if you get to hit the lottery. No, you don't need a lottery. You gonna 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 you gonna, you gonna go to the strip club with a garbage bag full of one dollar bill. Oh, you hit the lottery. You gonna go in there with your crazy behind with a with a with a with a garbage bag full of twenty dollar bills, and leave broke. He said, follow me. Suffer me to go bear my father. He said, let the dead bury the dead. But go vow and preach the kingdom. So he did a comparison analysis. You got an agenda, and I'm pretty sure our parents mean something to us. So he hit straight. He went straight to the core. He not studying what we talking about. We like little devils running around here. Can I preach like this? We ain't cool. People ain't cool, and what's important to you is so not important in comparison to what's really going on and what we're really doing on planet Earth and the state of planet Earth. We all got to admit this is an awful place, and we're part of the problem. You ain't got time to be tripping off no funeral to the point that you're going to neglect the most high or think that that's an excuse. Folks think they work schedule is excuse. They don't feel well. I don't feel like being bothered. Just any dumb thing. You on your way to hell and you talking about you don't feel like being bothered? Let the dead bury the dead was his response. And then he told him what to do. Go thou and preach the kingdom. I ain't tripping off what you talking about. Go preach the kingdom. Look at this. 60, 61st verse. Look what it's like. It said, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my home, at my house. He, wa he wanted to go home and say bye. Yahushua said on him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yah. Look at his interpretation of what the man said. The man said, I'm going to follow you, but first let me. And when you got the state of mind a first let me, Understand it's satanic. That's what he's revealing. That's just like a religious way of saying no. He said, repent. And you say, yeah, I am, but go. On. This is what he said. His response was, go let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury the dead. Forget the funeral. Go preach the kingdom. His response was, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. All the man said is, yes, I will follow you, but first let me. The decept is deceitful. That's why Jeremiah speaks of the deceitful heart of a man. When you got the state of mind, but first let me, that, that, oh, that state of mind of I'm a work in progress the state of mind. That, that giving yourself a route out is a nice way of being satanically rebellious. It's, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's, it's deceitful way of telling them no. And we feel good about it though. I didn't say no. I didn't say no. Who would you say to make him say that? I said, I just want to go home and tell everybody. For well, some reason, the most I didn't go for that answer. He tripping. No, you tripping. Y'all don't see his man see. Man look on the outer prince. Y'all look at the heart. You tell him, but. Yo, I, no, I am. I am. I, I am. Why you keep repeating that? I am. I am. No, say what you finna say. I, I am. I'm gonna say it. I am. I am. I am, but. Okay, there you have it. 
He said, repent and do it quickly. He said, the day you hear his voice, harden not your heart. He's coming to rescue us, me. Come on, y'all. He come, Look, he's coming to rescue you. Because he had mercy on you thus far, and he has, don't mean you're going to see tomorrow. Why didn't sing that song tomorrow? I give my life tomorrow. But what about today? For tomorrow might very well be too late. We, we and, and, and you're telling the creator of all no. And he come to help us to rescue us. Look at it, y'all. And he didn't even butter up nothing. He was raw as heck. If you ever want to see him go witness, and there it is. Raw as heck. Because it's not a game. Because, like, to change the narrative would be wrong. He wasn't going to change the narrative. He wasn't, he wasn't going to turn into some religious thing or a debate. Like, we got some bargaining power. He wasn't turning it into none of that. It's like... Like you're dying of thirst, here's some water, drink. Oh, but first I got, man, you gone crazy. You dying of thirst and you don't want this water? Okay. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then the unbeliever got a butt in their mouth. But, 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 but I just met him. Well, let me work the relationship out first. Yeah, you ain't ready. Because his response was, no man having put his hand to the plow. You come to the most high, your hand is on the plow. And look back, you, 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 let, you, you, you let something come in your life that calls you to take your eyes off of the most high and put your eyes on them or it. He said you're not fit. That's scary. If you have done something like that, let me give you some advice. Repent and do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. An idol is anything or anyone you put before the most high. There are things that are more important to us than the most high. Big mistake. You run across, I run across, we run across people all the time that always religiously say, I put him first. That's a lie. To put him first is to put what he say first over how you feel. If what he say go against what you're doing, then you put what he say over what you're doing and stop doing it. I'm, I'm teaching like he did tonight. Real talk. Ain't no shit. He didn't put no chase on this. He didn't butter it up, nothing. It was, man, no sugar, nothing. You heard that? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Straight medicine. No sugar, nowhere. Just, this is what it is. Ain't no but. But first, let me. Ain't none of that. I'm going to follow you. Cool. And it's going to be a bumpy road. That's how he talking. Foxes got more than me, and so do birds. Come on, follow me. But let me know. Go ahead. You ain't fit. You you leave me. You leave me for them? Okay. It's going to blow up in your face. You want to come back to me? That's cool too. But you're going to have to choose me over them. Still. You ain't. If you ain't. If you still put them over me, you still ain't fit. It's not saying you can't rebound. But it, it disqualifies you. Because you got to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And to be honest with you, it, because we start off carnal, that's a gradual process. We got to get to know him intimately in order to be able, willing to choose him over anything or anybody. That's a growing process. Some, for some, shorter than others. But the first move is to realize your sin condition and the willingness to turn from it because you believe in it. And then after you believe in him, you start going through the mind renewal process according to Romans 12. As you get to know him, you fall deeper in love with him. And then you're able to learn to prioritize and keep him first. Walking away from sin was first enough. But as you continue to walk with him, you'll get to know him more and you'll choose him over anything or anybody.
I'll say bye to anything or anybody at any time. If the relationship or the situation try to pull me from him, you got to go. It got to go. I'll stay here with cotton around. I'm, I'll stay dry mouth. I'm waiting on him to give me some water. You ain't, uh -uh, I'm not selling my soul for nothing. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world, lose his soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? I'm cool. With your fine self, go on. Switch on down the road with your fine self. Go on. I'm cool. I can use a drink. Roll on, bottle. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't popping the lid. I'm cool. I'm not saying it's a sin to drink. Most high stopped me from doing it. And I want to cry. But he told me no. We see the legs on the glass. <laughs> and the leg. I think when you get that good bottle of wine, right? The legs just be thick old legs. Ooh. <laughs> I ain't going to touch it. <laughs> Not on planet Earth. He didn't butter up nothing. What he has for us is priceless. That should be good enough. He came down 42 generations, became a human being, and became obedient to his own word, and then got beat down by the people he created, disrespected and spit on, didn't even defend himself, and then died on that tree for you and me thereby paying for the crap we did, then rose again with all power, said it is finished, and then got up out of here on that tree, came back without the body in spirit form to baptize himself inside of us, to lead and guide us, because that's how much he cared about us. What more you want? Some pancakes? Want to fix your credit? It's not about that. It's about your soul. We be crying about our circumstances. He said, I'm not changing your circumstances. I'm, I'd rather change you. I came to save you. And that's exactly what it is. And he's letting it be known. No man come to me, put your hands to the plow, and look back. You're not fit. And if you want to become fit again, you're going to have to repent from that. If you chose a man or a woman over him, I don't care if it is your spouse. If you chose a job or money over him, you got to get that right. You're going to him about your idol. You're praying to Yah to fix your idol. You mean the idol you left him for? He ain't going to do that. Tammy, what's up, man? You better call me, man. I forgot about we were supposed to get together and eat some food. I told you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> call me. You can't, you can't erect an idol over the most high. You can't erect an idol over the most high and then now you begging him to fix your idol. He ain't going to do it. You're going to make him mad at you. Come to him about fixing your relationship with him because you sold him out for a woman, for a man. Repent. Period. Bottom line. Worst thing ever happened to you was when you left him. <laughs> One hundred. It's time for all, all of us to repent. One hundred percent. Any man lack wisdom, James one, right? Any man lack wisdom, let's ask of y'all. If you don't know what's going on, because this place is ugly, and you got some ugly people, and they've done some awful things, especially to us, to the children of Israel. We waking up to find out who we are, and they dogged us out, and they still planning to dog us out. But he gonna deal with them. He dealing with them now, to be honest with you. The tables is turning literally right now. He dealing with them now, but they still at us. If you want to understand why, so we don't turn bitter, you don't want to turn bitter. You want to let the Most High make you better. Don't let your circumstance that the Most High ordained for us to make you bitter. It's time for us to repent. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, that's when he's going to hear from heaven. He's going to forgive our sins. He's going to heal our land. It is not appointing us to have wrath. Don't get caught up into that. He's going to deal with it. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. Nobody. Not even us. So you ain't got time for that. And he ain't sugarcoating, at least not tonight, y'all. He not sugarcoating. It's raw and uncut. Get them butts out your doggone mouth and be more appreciative of what he did for you. 
and try to recognize the value of what he did. And he don't need to put no cheese on it. He don't need to put no extra on it. I'll follow you if you do this. He already done enough over and beyond. It's by the goodness of Yah that leads a man to repentance. If you find out how good he is, it will cause you to surrender and say, okay, I'm wrong, and you're right. Please forgive me. I'm about to get out of here, y'all, and let y'all go. But no man having put his hand to the plow or look back. If you came to him, stay. Don't sell him out. Don't find something or someone that you like better than him and you gone. Folks and cheated and lied to get <laughs> what they got. Ran off on the most high for what you got. Uh -uh. Undo that and do it quickly. Get rid of it. Give it back. If it's lawfully yours, put Yah first. Repent. Get it right. Your soul is counting on you. And he knew we was too silly to... Govern the soul. So he baptized himself inside of us and gives the power to do it. You got the power to repent. You got the power to apologize and mean it and change. And that's exactly what we should do. Ain't no sugar on this. Besides saying I'm homeless. You ready to follow me still? Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you to glean in your word. The work you did on that tree is magnificent enough. If, if you tell us to go down a road that we don't want to go down, we know our eternal life is in that road. And, 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 and no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. You got us. Continue the metamorphosis process. Continue to transform by the renewing of our mind so we can prove that which is good, acceptable, your perfect will. Sign me up. I want to go. I want to change. Continue to deal with me. Continue to deal with everyone that's listening on the sound of my voice. Even send this word global that your children might be saved. We trust, believe, and we thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua Messiah, when we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all man. That was the lesson for the night, y'all. <clears throat> that was kind of rough one. Huh? But the most high love us all. Including me. And just know when I'm teaching, I'm, ta I'm talking to me too. You know, the word is like a two-edged sword. It go out cutting and it come, it cuts this way as well. Because we all need to be saved. I got a flesh that I got to kill daily. Every time this joker wake up, I got to grab this joker and the full Nelson and make him do what he's supposed to do. Real talk. I'm no different than you. My test potentially could be a little harder. You know, could be. But at the end of the day, whatever it is, he makes a way of escape for all of us. We can obey him and we should. I'm playing with it. If you sold the most high out, you're not going to be religious around me. I'm not going to let you because it's going to hurt you. So people that sell you out talk a good one. And I love you too, but you talking. Kind of skim down on that and do some walking. If you sold him out for something or someone, undo it. Put him first. 100%. That don't mean get rid of, you feel me? Some things is in his will, in and of itself. He just wasn't supposed to make it an idol and put it before him. Get it right. Get it right. We got gripes. Some beautiful people got legitimate gripes. But he said, now give me that gripe because I can't give you that. It's too heavy for you. That's going to mess you up. Give it to me. I'll recompense. I'll deal with that. What I want you to do is pursue me. And I got you. I write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I'm going to present you blameless before my presence. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter in. Is that fair? Y'all be Baruch, Prophet Shalom. If the lesson was good to you and you believe uh, it can be good to someone else, push the share button. Super easy to go witness, and all you gotta do is push the share button. Push the share button. If this is a good ministry and you learn and you're changing, support the ministry. All you gotta do is go to PayPal, put in Derek Man5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N 5857 at Yahoo.com. And what else I say? Oh yeah. If you want to hang out, 
I'm on the line right now, y'all. 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648. I got a few more minutes. I don't mind chopping up with y'all. If y'all want to, if y'all want to talk, um, chime in. If not, I'll be on that same number at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, Pacific Standard Time, if y'all permit, if I'm still alive, and y'all permit, 6 a.m. And then at 6.30, I'll be back on Facebook Live. Um, I think that's it. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Please pray for me. I'm not Superman. I'm just his son. And I'll continue to pray for y'all. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.